Prince Charles and Prince William are together establishing a bright future for the monarchy as they fight against climate change and lead the way in other important causes. The Queen hailed her eldest son and grandson for following in Prince Philip's footsteps in the fight against global warming, in a pre-recorded message for leaders attending the COP26 summit this week. Charles gave his first major speech on the importance of protecting our planet more than 50 years ago, and was the most prominent voice in the royal family on the matter for many years. Prince William has, in more recent years, accelerated his own work in the field. He launched the Earthshot Prize last year, a £50 million initiative designed to provide funding and incentive for environmental solutions for the next decade. The first awards ceremony took place last month, with a host of major celebrities in attendance, including Sir David Attenborough, Ed Sheeran and footballer Mohamed Salah. However, William has not always been so sure about what he should be doing. Back in 2001, William broke royal tradition by going to the University of St Andrews after his gap year. Known to be very protective of his privacy, royal commentator Dr Ed Owens claimed to express co.uk that this was one of the reasons why he chose St Andrews. Royal author Katie Nicholl wrote in Vanity Fair in 2010 that William kept at low profile when socializing at St Andrews, and quickly built up a friendship with Kate Middleton. However, despite the tranquility he had there, Ms Nicholl claimed William became bored quite quickly. She wrote, he missed his friends in Gloucestershire and going to his favorite nightclubs in London. The advantage of St Andrews being so small was that he was well protected, but the town could be claustrophobic. As of 2011, St Andrews had a recorded population of 16.00. Things came to a head, Ms Nicholl wrote, when William returned home for Christmas after his first term. Ms Nicholl said, Prince Charles knew he had a crisis on his hands when William returned home at Christmas and announced he did not want to go back to university for his second semester. He complained that he was not enjoying the courses and St Andrews was too far away. Charles listened patiently. He knew William could be temperamental, and the situation was delicate. He suggested William gave it another term, and could leave if he was still miserable after that. The biggest issue, Ms Nicholl claimed, was William not enjoying the coursework and workload. Journalist Andrew Neal, who served as Lord Rector of the University during William's first year, told Ms Nicholl, it would have been a PR disaster for St Andrews if he had left after one term, and we worked very hard to keep him. We gave him pastoral care, and when he suggested majoring in geography, we made sure there were no roadblocks. William had originally been studying art history, before switching to geography. Mr Neal said William settled in and made a lot of friends in his second semester. William told the Press Association in 2003, I don't think I was homesick, I was more daunted. My father was very understanding about it and realized I had the same problem as he probably had. We chatted a lot, and in the end we both realized, I definitely realized, that I had to come back. William was a successful water polo player at university, and represented the Scottish National University's team at the Celtic Nations Tournament in 2004. He graduated with a 2-to-1 honours degree in 2005, and met his future wife. T William and Kate returned to St Andrews in 2011 as patron of the university's 600th anniversary appeal.